Good afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday afternoon and we are here in the office. Getting some work done, it's a little bit more casual as you can see today. Just taking an office day, got some other agents out doing open houses and working with clients, things like that. But today we wanted to talk about not buying uh, investments on a budget. Now this is a, a philosophy, this is a practice that I teach and I talk about with all of my clients. Um, if you are looking at a deal and moving forward on it because it's simply something that you can afford, you need to stay away from that deal. You need to look further. You need to look at other deals. The reason why we don't buy deals on a budget or just pursue deals that you may afford is because you're not analyzing that property correctly and uh, looking at the other different things that go with that deal um, go out the window. You know, I see a too many people just, hey, can I afford this? Okay, good, let's go forward because I want my first deal. I want my second deal. And the thought, the idea of having that second deal, first deal, second, third, or fourth deal is more important to them and to say that they're a real estate investor is more important to them than the actual deal itself. So here at Precision Home Group, we teach people to run the numbers first and foremost. We use that as the barrier to get pat, to, uh, to, to organize the deals. So the first barrier, we're gonna go collect a whole bunch of properties kind of you know, within your search parameters. And then the first barrier, the first hurdle, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna run the numbers and analytics on every single property. Now, with let's just say there's 20 deals out there. Typically, what I'm seeing is that we may get two or three deals out of those 20 that may actually work, that may actually um, pass the numbers test, may actually have some of the returns that we're looking for, might have the rents where we want them. Let's just talk about multifamily. They might have the rents where we want them, the vacancies where we want it, um, and it might have the books. So we're looking at the last three years trending. It might have the history of rents um, and good tenants and everything else that goes with running the numbers to pass our tests. Once they do pass our test, it doesn't mean that we're moving forward on any of them. It just means that they pass the first hurdle and we're gonna start looking um, at other things with that property. We're gonna go inspect the property. We're gonna talk to tenants. We're gonna go um, you know, look at the location and the site specific. Where is that? What's going on around it? Hey, is there any new developments? Is there what's rentals like in that area? What's the market saying in that area and stuff like that? And we can go all day talking about different things that we're gonna look at. But the reason why I bring this up and bringing it back to why we don't buy deals um, on a budget is because if you're buying a deal on a budget, you're not looking at the numbers correctly. You're not looking at, hey, does this deal make sense? You're blindsided by, hey, I can actually afford this. But you should be looking at deals as in, hey, this is a good investment, this is a good deal because it produces this cash flow, it produces this return, it does this for me and my portfolio. There's reasons you should be investing. There are requirements that you need to set for yourself to play into your investment strategy. And with that is gonna build a long-term um, investment strategy and you'll be able to actually, sorry about that, you'll be able to actually uh, build that portfolio that makes sense, build that portfolio that plays with each other, that builds on top of each other, and that allows you that success in the long term because deals aren't meant to be a quick income source, aren't meant to be a uh, quick, you know, just instant cash, you know, get rich quick scheme. Real estate is a long term game. And so we're looking at buying cash flow, we're looking at other different things in real estate. So if you're looking at buying a deal on a budget, one of the things that you need to realize, one of the things that you need to realize is that we need to look at the deals. Sorry, I'm getting a bunch of notifications here, guys. Um, one of the things that we need to look at here for today is that we need to look at deals that make sense, and it's gonna take capital to do so. Anytime there's zero down, anytime there's low down, anytime there's low initial investment into the deal, that sets off red flags for me. And why I say that is because we're looking at getting into a deal over leverage. We're looking at getting into a deal without our own capital, without our own risk, and we're looking at getting into deals 
that don't make sense, that don't have high enough income, don't have high enough cash flow, um, or the returns that we want. Yes, there is the unicorn out there that may have a very low down option and may be a screaming deal, but that is not reproducible. It's not duplicatable in every market, um, in every uh, situation or investment type. So those are gonna be one-off deals. And what we're doing is building our portfolio for the future and we're looking at what can we do to reproduce and duplicate the things that we're doing and that's why we have those initial requirements for investments and not just looking for those one-off deals because if we're looking for the one-off deals we're going to invest over here over here this type of property this type of property and then the management's going to be all over the place you're not going to be able to scale out your time to manage that and be doing other things you need to be able to get into properties that that help you that assist you um, that help bring in that income like people say that mailbox income, but you can't do that if you're spending all of your time chasing down these different properties, managing themselves, and doing things like that. That's why we're saying don't buy a deal on a budget. You need to be looking for deals that make sense, not that you can afford. So if you have any questions on this, please reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you. Again, we're talking here about building enough income, building enough uh, uh, capital so that we can get you into a real deal. And the only way we're gonna do that is increase your income. If we can help you increase your income, but not increase your expenses, we can put that money aside into a reserve account, hold that over here as we're building it up, throwing that income over there, and then we can actually get you into a deal that makes sense and not a deal that you can just afford today. So thank you for joining us. This is again Matt Lindsay with Precision Home Group here in Anchorage, Alaska. Reach out to me, drop a comment, send me a DM. I'd love to talk to you about real estate, about investments, um, about long-term strategy, building that portfolio that makes sense, and how to go from one deal, two deals, three deals, um, up to building you know, a portfolio of many, many doors or different types of investments. See you guys tomorrow.